To say that your child is touched will be an understatement with this little badass. We're going to discuss Tariq theories in this video featuring my wife. And if you enjoy the content on this channel, if this is your first time, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you're down every time we drop life game videos. Join me on my Patreon account. Subscribe if you want to help a brother out. Donate a few dollars. And go take a look at shoplifegains.com. That is my deal site and my blog site. Let's jump into this Tariq butt whipping video. In time, you will know what it's like to lose. To feel so desperately that you're right. But to fail all the same. Dread it. Run from it. Destiny still What's good, YouTube? Uh, we're here talking about Power Season 5, Episode 1, and what child needs a butt whipping more than Dre? I got my big homie, the wife, up here. More than Dre or Tariq? More than Tariq, excuse me. She's up here to help me out where I mess up. She's going to pick me up. Be on the lookout for her Instagram channel, IGTV, and her YouTube. If you have kidney problems, hypertension, She's gonna be up there and I want you guys to check her out, giving you her MD reviews. But honey, you know how I do these videos. Oh goodness. Oh yeah. Oh, first I got to put on the plus seven glasses of cinema and TV review and sexy as hell, work on skilling up this craft, giving them and you something better to look at and a better YouTube review. You want some sexy as hell glasses? No, I'm good. You don't need them? I'm good. You yeah. just sexy just the way you are, huh? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Tariq, this boy need a butt whipping or he needs some sweet chin. <laughs> what is going on in his brain? What is his motivation? He need a hug. A hug? <laughs> he needs a hug. Uh, that's all he needs. <laughs> he was neglected by his daddy, running out trying to get his business together. Didn't know what his son was out there doing in the world. Mm -hmm. So yes, he needs a, he needs some some male bonding with the right male, mm -hmm. and unfortunately, it ended up being the wrong people. Yep. Y'all come to me because I drop dimes. I got a dime and a theory I'm gonna drop. You ready for my dime and my theory? What is it? Did y'all see how Tasha kept getting a little upset every time Kanan popped up? My theory is that Kanan was the twin's daddy. Kanan is Tariq's daddy. And my backstory on that is, did y'all see how well Tariq bonded with Sean, Kanan's oldest son? I mean, that was a strong, but they bonded like there was a brotherly bond. Mm -hmm. So I think the deep dark secret, Tasha let Kanan smash. What do you think? Oh goodness. Uh it would be interesting if they went in that direction. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep. Yeah, I could easily see it. I don't know. Yep, I do. I don't know. And you heard it here first. I think Kanan would have came out and said something. No. Because he, he's that he's he's, he's grinding. Uh, yeah, very, he wanna get get back at people. So I think if yeah. there's any suspicion in his mind that mm -hmm. he was he was Therese's daddy, he would have said something. Just to get at goals. So what one minute they show Tariq basically dissing Dre, and then the very end of the show, Tariq is going to run his ass in the bathroom to help Dre. What's up with that? that uh, I have no idea. I'm trying to get back at his daddy, probably. So, here's my theory on what's going to happen with that. I'm thinking Dre might take Tariq under his wing, only for Tariq to kill Dre become the new crime boss, and then they're gonna make seasons where Tariq is taking on his daddy, Tommy, and Kanan. What you think? I can see it going that way. That could be a very creative story. I, I felt like um, they were gonna have Tariq team up with Dre, but I didn't think about him taking Dre out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, 
Tariq has proven nothing else to us that we should believe in any behavior pattern with him. He's just doing whatever he want, when he want, how he want. Or I think they're going to end up figuring out that he's working with Dre sooner or later. Mm -hmm. um, and I think I don't think Tommy and Ghost is going to see it. I think Kanan is the only one that oh, will probably yeah. notice something like that going on. Because Kanan hood is hell. Mm -hmm. So that brings me to my next point. Y'all know Dre got a child. At what point is somebody gonna hold Dre's child hostage? And what would be the entity that will hold his hostage? So you got Tommy chasing him, you got Ghost chasing him, and you know Dre is working with the MN ass cartel. At what point in time is all this gonna catch up with Dre and somebody's gonna grab his daughter? I don't see Tommy or Ghost doing something like that considering what just happened with Tariq. Um, yeah, but, but I Dre, can see Kanan doing wait a minute. Dre show up at Ghost burial of his daughter and then say, bro, you ain't strapped. How low can your ass go? I, hmm. To show up at a man's funeral while his daughter is being put in the ground, you show up there and then you put a kill death card in his pocket. Mm -hmm. So what, no, no hold bar? Man, no. there that, that ain't no hold bar on that, uh -huh. none. And we're gonna finish up on this last, these last two points that we wanna know. What do you think Tasha's interaction is gonna be with Tariq as she starts figuring out that he's grimy, her own son. I think she's gonna blame it all on Kanan. I'm telling you, Kanan is the daddy. He the dad. he the pappy. I don't know. You, you don't know? I don't know. <laughs> I guess it's hard to say with Tasha because I, look, don't let Tasha fool you. She can get grimy too. And we're gonna end this thing with you guys leaving us comments. Was this one of the best season five openings you've ever seen in a TV series? How you feel about that? It was good. We're definitely in for a roller coaster ride. Right. So this is going to be a, a, a long season. Yep. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. <laughs> I don't know how they're going to fit in all these narratives in a, in 10 episodes. You've got Angela is dirty now. She's 100%. She's all in. She is mm -hmm. dirty. Then you've got the new lady chasing Angela that works for the police department and she works in like internal affairs. She's got a hard on for Angela. And it and seems like they got some type of history. So Exactly. Like maybe she maybe she worked with Angela or knew Angela back in the day and Angela don't remember who she is, but she is definitely beefing with her. So there's probably she knows something. or she knows someone who knows Angela and she she's out for her. Right. She's out to get him in that manner. And then you still have the thing that they've not really explained to us yet. What is up with Councilman Tate? You know he's dirty. They done eluded to how dirty he is. And that damn pastor, he dirty too. But we're going to stick to Councilman Tate. What are they going to do with his backstory? How is he going to tie in to the mess that's going on? And how are they going to tie this thing up? Anything you'd like to say going out, honey? No, I'm just looking forward to a good season. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. And that's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like our video, comment, and subscribe. Be on the lookout for my wife's YouTube and her Instagram. If you've got people that have some health needs when it comes to hypertension, kidney problems, she's going to be dropping dimes on her channel really, really soon. And y'all know why to stay with me because you're going to get those weekly life gains. And until that next Sex is Hell video, we will see you. You want to end with a kiss? No. <laughs> Can't get no love in this house, I tell you. And a good man is hard to find. Peace. Peace.